Good morning, everyone. This is Thursday, Thursday, October the 17th, 2024. I'm down at Halifax. It's 9.30 a.m. And we got a current temperature of about 7 degrees, supposed to go to 9 today, which isn't super warm. When I came over here this morning, it was like 1 or 2 degrees. So I spent some time in the coffee shop there having coffee and that lasted about an hour and a half so I should be all, I should be good to go now I'm all coffeeed up I should be good to go well you can see now I'm down at the waterfront I just came down from Barrington it's right right up just a couple of streets up I came down from there and I stopped in at Tim Hortons and then I I'm out there for a while and now we're ready to make this video and we're going to walk over here to the water and then we'll walk down through the whole waterfront and then we'll see what happens after that okay so glad you came along for the walk i know you won't be disappointed it's always nice when we walk around down here You want to see the tallest building in Dartmouth? Right there. Right over there. That's the tallest building so far in Dartmouth, I believe. I don't think there's any taller one than that. The water's really calm this morning compared to when we're having those high winds and stuff. Very calm this morning. All right, let's walk down through the whole waterfront here this morning and uh, see what things look like. There's still tourists here. The, 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 the tour buses are still going and the, the, the antique buses, the double-deckers, are still driving around with lots of people in them and the harbor hopper is still running. So even though we are mid-October, we still got tourists. My favorite month for tour for touring is probably July because it's you're right in the midsummer and then it's like super nice out all the time. The evenings are even warm and everything. I like I like July for a, for a holiday, but it don't always work that way. Anyway, we'll go down here and see what we can uh, find to look at and oh look at the dogs. Uh, they're so pretty. <laughs> Did you like that dog? He was some fat. <laughs> I know I've mentioned it before, but I really love this little area right in here. We got buildings on three sides of you. For any of you people that haven't seen my video before, it'll be all new to you. But you walk right through the building where I just came through, and there's another one over there we can walk out to. And then you got tall buildings all the way around here. It's great if the wind's blowing in any of those directions, because you can stay out of the wind while you're down here. Even where I am right now, I can't feel any wind. The only time it's really worse is if it's blowing in from the water and then it circles around in here and you get more wind. But in any other direction, it's really great. All right, let's walk up the stairs. And don't ask me what that thing is up there because all, all I can see of it is its mirrors and it reflects different angles, I guess. I don't know, it's supposed to be, supposed, supposed to be some kind of a artwork, I guess. It really don't excite me that much, but if you get something out of it, well, go to it. Uh, well, here we are looking down at the Cable Wharf kitchen and patio. Looking over at Dartmouth. Dartmouth is starting to grow. I'll show you where some more 
some more buildings under construction. I don't know if you can see them or not. Where the tall building is over there, a little bit to the left, you see the, the cranes. There are four buildings going up over there. They're not going to be as tall as that one over there, but, but there, there's four apartment buildings going up right there. Then we got that one, and there's all those ones he built down there. And I think there's more coming beside the tall one. So we're really trying to, we're playing catch up on the apartments here. There's, they let it go too long, and now there, there's nowhere to, to live. So now the push is on to get places for people. People come here, and, they, and they, when they get here, they find like apartments are like really, really, really scarce. There are some, but you got to pay a lot if you got to. That's why they're still empty. Is the ones that are super expensive are are empty, but or partly empty at least. Yeah. But there is a real shortage here. I'll just show you what this looks like from up here. The wind is coming from the north according to that flag on top of that building the wind's coming out of the north that's why it's cold where snow on the ground up in the arctic and cold too so that's why we're getting cold air today because the air is coming from the north fortunately it's not blowing super hard you know, these are hard to walk on because they're not paced just right for your stride. And you always have to stop at the end to get down over the next one. They don't work out right for stepping. Well, what's... Uh, Let's get out here to the to the walkways and stuff. We'll just be getting down there. If you haven't been to Halifax before, you really enjoy this uh, walk down through here. If you have been here or if you've seen my videos, you can still enjoy it. And we're in very late end of the tourist season. It won't be long and it'll be snow down here and only the locals might venture down here in the winter. I know I don't come down here very often in the winter. Usually at Christmas time, I come down here and video the Christmas lights and things that are down here. They do decorate it all up at Christmas time. Because the air is coming from the north, if I can get behind a, a wall, I won't, feel, I won't feel it so much. But right now it's kind of, it's kind of blowing right around where I'm walking right now. Let's try behind this wall and see if it's warmer. Yes, it's much warmer if you get behind the wall. So. We'll, it is a north wind. Okay. That's the Museum of the Atlantic, right here. Maritime Museum of the Atlantic owns this building. And oh, that boat right over there, they own that too. And all these stuff that was long on ships that belongs to the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic. Here's the sign right here, tells you all about it. Maritime Museum of the Atlantic, that building right there. 
it's quite a quite a lot of stuff in there to see I can tell you that just from uh, I've taken it twice to tour in there it's really really uh, beautiful lots of stuff to see maybe you never knew about History. I have a lot of history in this city. Halifax is an old city. It's been here for a long time. People first came here a long time ago. But we got several buildings that was built in 1749 in Halifax, and people were here before that. So 1749 is only you know uh, 51 years away from the. 1600s. So, yeah, there's some old uh, history in this in this uh, city. Not as much history as there is in European countries because they've been around a lot longer. But well, the boardwalk is busy today. I'm quite surprised because it's this this late in the year. And, It got warmer down here because I'm out of the wind now. And this is... Beaver tails. It's not exactly beaver tails. It's more like uh, donuts and things made to look like beaver tails. That's what it is. Some things are closed down, like the cows. That was uh, ice cream and stuff like that. See, they got the walkways color coded. That one back there was blue. This one's red. Where they intersect the blue and the red. Lots of bicycles for rent today. Sometime right in the summertime, the warm part of summer, they're all gone, but today not, not so much. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. All right, we'll walk up the, we'll the walkway and then we'll come back in farther down, okay? Kind of more fun than just walking on the, on the wharf there. Let's walk on the, the walkway across here, much nicer. Here I'm all bundled up and there's a girl coming in her short sleeves. Oh, my. how do they do it? Look. How do they do it? You know, there's the odd person here and there that's so hot. It, they don't mind it. They go right out in the wintertime in their t-shirts. My son has is, got a hot temperature. He's always like that. He's always burning up and hot and... In the summertime, it just about kills him. He's, he can't stand it. Me, on the other way, I can stand a lot of heat. 
but I can't stand the cold. Oh, bear. You get cold just thinking about the cold. But this isn't bad yet, not to, to what it will be. But we don't know. We could have a mild winter too. They say it's going to be a, a little bit of an El Nino left in the East Coast. Well, the Nina is going to make it cold in the, in the West. That's the predictions for this year. La Nina out in Vancouver and El Nino here. But it's a, it's a mild El Nino. It's not, not a full, full one, but it's still better than uh, La Nina. Well, I see we got a couple of cruise ships in today. That's contributing to the waterfront being busy. I want to see if Vandal Down has opened up yet. Just in case anybody don't know where it's going to be, I'll show you again. I showed one of the other videos, but you never know, it might be open, so I'm going to check it out. See that building right over there, the newest, the newest building that got built down here. That's where Vandal Donuts is in the bottom there with the stores are over to the right a little bit. So we'll go check it out and see if they've opened up yet. But I won't be going in right now because I want to finish my video regardless if they're open or not. I'll come back to it later. I playing the harp. I used to, I used to know him back the first year I was here, and second year I used to play my guitar down here on the waterfront. And kind of knew him then, but since I stopped doing it, started making videos, I kind of lost touch with the buskers down here. But I used to do it. I used to. It was pretty good, I tell you that. You make, you make a lot more money busking than you do making videos. Mm -hmm. Well, we got at least two cruise ships over there. Could be three, there's at least two. And it is pretty nice down here. There's George's Island right over there. I'll tell you a little bit about George's Island in case you want to know. I can't give you the exact date, but back in our history, the Acadians that lived here, <clears throat> I don't know what happened to the whole story, but they ended up getting arrested and they put them on that island over there. There's actually a, a, a prison on that island. It's no longer in use now, but it's still there. And that's where they used to put the Acadians until they could ship them out. And, and that's why there's so many French in Louisiana. They went, that's where they went from here when they had to leave Nova Scotia, they went to Louisiana. So that's got a lot of history, that island right over there. A lot of people go over and, and, and take a tour there. I've never been on it yet. Maybe, maybe I will before too long, but I'm always so busy with other stuff. And, but anyway, maybe I will get over there one day soon, hopefully. All right, so that's what that island was for. Well, we still got some leaves on our trees here. Some are looking pretty bare, but like that one. <laughs> And these ones lost about a third of them, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, well. Now. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 
Where are you folks from? Halifax. Oh, you're right from here. I'm from Delaware, Ohio. Oh, okay, good. Where are you from? I moved here from Toronto in 2018. With the Maple Leafs. Oh. Yep. Good Lord, only another 50 years before the next Stanley Cup. I know, I know. I hope not. I hope not, too. <laughs> One time we went to a game in Toronto, and they lost so bad, everybody was getting up and cheering for the other team. <laughs> <laughs> you remember when we had the Thrashers? They're gone now, but uh, but they were beating us so bad that night that the Toronto fans were jumping up. Go Thrashers, go! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I still hold out hope. Too. I know, I know. Yeah. Well, maybe all that hope will do something. <laughs> never know. Yeah, never know. Yeah, I I came here in 2018 when I retired, and. I've been here ever since, and then I started making videos, and so, yeah, that's my passion now, getting out walking around, showing stuff, yeah. Beautiful day for it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, the waterfront's always great, because there's only, what, maybe three or four months, it's kind of dead down there. Yeah. We come down a couple times a week, and we sit and yeah. talk to people like ourselves. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, okay. hope we'll have a great day. You too. Yeah, you. enjoy your trip up there. Yes, thank you. See you. All right, let's continue on. So we got two Hal Haligonians and one from Delaware sitting there. And they wanted to be in my video because they waved. So there you go. Some people I'd like to. I know I can never get over that. Some people... Some people are just like, I don't want to be in that. And others are like, oh, good, I want to be in your video. So there you go, you got like two two camps. And there's some people that just couldn't care less one way or the other. That's the way I am if I encounter somebody doing a video. If they want me in, I'll be in. If they don't want me, I won't. It's just that simple. Oh, let's go over and see if Randall Donuts are opened up yet. I don't know, it's right these, where these two doors are open here. That's where Vandal Donuts is. When we came here in 2018, that building wasn't even there. We haven't even thought of what might have been thought of, but it wasn't there when we came here. I think that year or the next one, we got the signs put up about it saying what was going to be built here. No doubt it would be quite expensive to get an apartment in here. Really, really would. Looking right out over the harbor and right here on the waterfront with everything going on. Yeah, it would be a very expensive place to live. So, Vandal Donuts is right here. We'll just take a little look here and then... Um, cakes. Coming soon, coming soon, yeah. No, it's not open yet. No, it's got a way to go yet. Got any idea when the opening date is? Uh, within a few weeks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are they keeping the other one open and guided you? Up and guided you? I think so, yeah. Oh, that's good, yeah. They got the best donuts. Oh, those are big. They're like a meal. <laughs> really? pretty, pretty much like a meal, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I usually cut it in half. Well, yeah. and I eat half and take Save the other one home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take it home, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> well, what do you want to do now? We want to we'll walk to the end. We'll have a look at the cruise ships over here. Not a look at George's Island.
Yeah, yeah, That's not even one of the nicer ones. He's still got way nice ones. <laughs> That's pretty cool, bud. Right? That, that That's part of the capacity. You off the ship? <laughs> no, no, I'm, no, I, I live here now. Oh, do you? Right on. Right I on. came, I came here in 2018 right. from oh, Toronto. Oh, did you? Right yeah. on. Right. You like it down here? I love it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I retired. That's when I came here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right on, right on. Yeah, yeah. It's very nice. Yeah. I don't know if I can stay too in front of the music too long, but probably that's copyrighted material, so I better get away from it. It sounds like a fiddle tune, but I don't know if it's a, it may or may not be copyright material, so I don't want to take a chance and wreck my videos. So. Okay. That's a big chip. Look at this thing. It's huge. That's why we got all these people on the waterfront here. Can't come on these cruise ships. And once the cruise ships are done, it won't be near as busy as it is right now for sure. Wow, I haven't been up this close to one for a while. Because usually they don't stick out past where the fence is down there, but where customs is and all that. They usually don't come up this far. But because it's so large, they're so large, they, they, they had to uh, bring it up here. Wow, this is huge. Look at this ship. Wow. And those lines that are holding that are some tight. There's a lot of weight there. Holland America Line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this is really good that we can get this close to it. Usually I'm looking way off in the distance at it, but this is really nice to go get this close to it. I've never been on a cruise ship ever. Holland America Line. I oh, hear a bagpipe over here somewhere oh, right over there. Yeah. Yeah, this is quite the, quite the sight to get that close to it. Well, so far I haven't met any cranky people yet that complain about being in my videos. Even the lady back there with the old time music that gave me a wave. Now, I don't know if bagpipe music is copyright material or not, I'm not sure. So, anyway, anyway it stopped right now, so I guess, uh, um, hello. I have a question. Is, is bagpipe music copyrighted material? Some of it is. Yeah, well, that's, this, uh, I'm doing a YouTube <laughs> video and I have to, I have to be careful not to put copyright. Oh, don't worry about that. Yeah. None of the stuff I'm playing is oh, okay. traditional. Oh, okay. Okay. So it wouldn't be like copyrighted. No, no okay. Yeah. yeah. We get, they give us 15 seconds of copyright material where we get away with it. After that, we, we, don't, we don't get paid for the video. Right. Because it's got copyright material. They send the money to the whoever wrote the song. <laughs> no, all the stuff I was just playing is all old. So oh, okay. It's all over 100 years old. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. It pro it's that. probably public domain now, then. Yeah. 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 All right. All right Where day. are you from? Uh, I was born in Connecticut, but 
from here now. You live here? Yeah. I moved here from Toronto in 2018. Okay. Yeah. You like it? I love it. Yeah. Great yeah. town. You fit right in good with Nova Scotia. You got the, the bagpipes. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, very good. Have nice a good day. Time. Well, that's my third person that's uh, really nice down here. It looks like there's a lot of nice people hanging out at the waterfront. They don't growl you for putting them in their video. That was really nice. Maybe we'll get number four yet. That was really good. That was really, really good that we got three of them that were willing to talk and be friendly. Look at these things here. They look so real. The Volunteers, Halifax Women's History Society, Sculptures, Marilyn Hilton Moore in 20, 2017 made these sculptures. Aren't they amazing? Wow, get them up a little closer here. You can see. I think we can walk up here. You want to see what's on that wagon? It's parts to a tricycle. There's a wheel, the feet, the back, and then there's a few other things here. And this woman here with this tray, what she got on her tray? She got two sandwiches and probably coffee. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? And what's this one got? She's knitting. That's her knitting basket. She's knitting a sweater or a scarf. Well, that is wonderful. We discover new things every time we come here. Uh, tour buses down here. We'll walk right down, have a look at this place today. It might be our last one before the cold weather sets in and there's no tourists down here. This could be our last uh, really busy day with all the tourists and everything down here. The big ship. Usually you can't even see them, they get behind the building, you can't even see them here. Hmm. Yeah, I'll get off the sidewalk and let these people walk there. The second bush on the right. I'm not a tourist, so we'll let them have the sidewalk. Uh, Halifax Pier Pub and a ship. <coughs> Let's see, we got a double decker, modern double decker bus from St. John, New Brunswick. I've been told, I haven't seen it, but I've been told that St. John now has a nice waterfront as well. Never used to have anything like that. But apparently they do now. Which I want to see it maybe next summer. It won't be this summer now because summer's pretty much over. Maybe next summer we can go to St. John and see, see their waterfront. It might get a little noisy here for a minute. St. John, New Brunswick. Nice uh, modern bus. Another uh, pub, Garrison Brewing. Greetings from Halifax Seaport. Right there. Pavilion 20. Then we got a couple of these uh, 
antique bosses that they, I believe they came from London because some of them still got the streets and stuff on them from London. I think one's got Piccadilly on it and uh, Oxford and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure they came from London. They're old bosses. They probably uh, took them off the road there and anybody wanted to buy them could buy them. Canada decided to buy a bunch of them. City of Halifax has probably got about 20 of those buses here. And no doubt it costs a lot to keep them roadworthy. More than likely, I would imagine. This one looks like it's had some little work done to it. The hood looks a little rough. Paints off of these panels. Yeah, and then some of them are like really good. But there's ones that are going up the stairs. And this one here doesn't look too bad. This one, do you want to see what it says on them? Yeah, you can, they've got the addresses from the streets from, from over in England. Kings Avenue, Chapman, Buttersea Park, Sloan, Knightsbridge, Oxford Street. These would have been stops along the way in England, in London. Yeah, you want to see inside? Wow, and then you can see up the stairs. I'm gonna try to take a peek in there. Oh, look at this. I got a chance to look in there. Perfect. There we go. All right. <laughs> I think he was just about to come and see what I was doing, but I got out of there. <laughs> and this is Pier 21 down here, where it was uh, at the height of uh, immigrants coming here by ship. Many, many people that came to Halifax. Hello. Many people that came to Halifax came to Pier 21. Oh, this is not, this is a, about that train car. And Pier 21 is right here, Canadian Museum of Immigration. Many people that came here from other countries came on ships and they got processed right here in this building. Let's see what it says. In the dec decade immediately following the Second World War, Canada receives about one and a quarter million immigrants from Europe. The, new the newcomers consisted of dependents of returning Canadian ser servicemen and people dislocated by the conflict and its aftermath in their homelands. Most of them arrived by sea with Halifax serving as a major port of entry. Here at Pier 21 reception facilities served the immigrants as first point of contact with the new country. The successful integration of new Canadians was at once a cause and consequence of Canada's post-war prosperity. There. I tried to read that as quick as I could because it's quite long. And this is where they came into, right here. Pier 21. If I stand back, you can see the sign up there on the building. Pier 21. There we go. Pier, and up at the top is a big one. Pier 21. Hello. How are you doing? 
Every day good. How about you? Wearing a hat like that is every day good. I know I. I have a Montreal hat too, but I thought I'd be Toronto today. Okay, well, if I was out, I'd be Montreal today. So. <laughs> you know, it's a great rivalry here in Halifax. It is. You have a lot of Montreal fans. You have a lot of Toronto fans. And you have a lot of Boston fans. Yeah, and Boston too. Yeah, my wife's, uh, some of her family are rooting for Boston. Um, might be a sad year for them. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's, that's part of the, the that's part of the hockey thing. Have you seen the old Halifax Forum? Yes. I, I haven't. I didn't go inside it. Yes, I did. That's where they. Is that where they had the COVID shots back? That's where the Nova Scotia Voyageurs used to be play. They were Montreal's affiliate team. No. Yeah. Time in the 1970s. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was in there a couple weekends ago. My I take my son to get his skate sharpened there and uh, we went in and there was a, a minor hockey league game going on oh there. well how you doing sir okay let's move along well i told you we was gonna try four for four and that's what we got we talked stopped and talked to four people and they're all friendly Don't you love it when things work out like that? Yeah. Instead of walking around, somebody goes, ah, I don't want to be here. I don't want to have a great big fit. See all these people here? They didn't mind at all if they were in my video, which is really good. I like that. Where do you want to go now? Well, we've obviously come down the waterfront, so we don't have to cover that again. We'll go out here onto the street, I guess. We are in the south end of Halifax. And I've still got some time left on my phone before it's full. There we go, looking down. It's a busy spot here. Now you get a better look at, at Pier 21 from over here. There we go, right here, now. There you are. There it is, Pier 21, Halifax, Canada. And this little street in here is called Marginal Road, because it says 1055 Chemin, which is a French for street, Marginal Road. All right, there we are, Marginal Road, 10, 1055, 1055 Marginal Road. Pier 21. All right, let's move along. Train just sitting on the side in there with some containers. That container port down there is huge. I'm telling you, I've been in there. I've hauled containers in there before and hauled them out. And it's huge in there. I used to go into the container port in, in Montreal. And when we were up there last summer, it's all like a tourist stuff now. They, they, don't, they don't bring containers to that yard anymore. They got a new place, which I'm not sure where it is, Montreal now. I know where I used to go to it. But that all changed now. Big building right there is the Weston Hotel. At one time it was just called the Nova Scotia, and then I guess Weston uh, took it over. And it's now the Weston. I think it also still has the old sign Nova Scotia, but it is the Weston Hotel.
Well, what a great day now. It was cool this morning. But all I have to do is start walking. Do a little narr narr narration of the video and talking to people that I run into. And the first thing you know, I'm not even cold anymore. The train station's right over there. I don't see the train, so that must mean it's on its uh, voyage to Montreal and back. It goes once a week. You can take the train to Montreal and back. I'm hoping they're gonna get some, I think I read that when they get done the renovations here, they're gonna have some more runs. I hope so, I like to do that. Maybe next summer or something. You can't, if you take the train to Montreal, it comes right back and, and you wouldn't get to do anything up there. It'd be nice if you could take one train up. I think it takes a couple of days to get there. If you could take one train up and then give yourself like three or four days and take the the next one back down again. That would be ideal. Even a couple of days, it wouldn't be too bad. You could spend two days in Montreal and then come back down on the train. That would be like really great. So I'm hoping, hoping that that's what's going to happen. I remember walking on this road, could even see a ship. It was hidden behind the building. This thing here is huge. The Western Nova Scotian, that's what you call it, yeah. One time it was called the Nova Scotian. Then it was the Western, they, they bought it. Took it over. Such beauty, hey? right against the blue sky. All these trees. Absolutely beautiful. There's so much beauty in nature. Even the leaves on the ground. Everything, they're all beautiful. Lots of leaves piled up here beside the sidewalk. There's such, such immense beauty in all this. I just, I'm just, I stand in awe at the nature, beauty of nature. Even snow, snow on the ground. I don't like the cold, but the snow, I walked through the public gardens a couple of times in the winter time when the snow on the ground and the walkways are cleaned. There's just something magical about that. I'm gonna go back again this year. You gotta pick your day, you get the right day. Then when the, when the walkways are all cleaned off and the snow is frozen, it's perfect, perfect conditions for a nice walk in the public gardens. Well, we can say goodbye to the port, the waterfront, and all that stuff for this time. I don't know how long this video has been going. 49 minutes. We might get an hour out of this video yet. I'll try. I'll try my best to get an hour out of it. If it quits on me, they'll have to put the ending on it in the computer. 
So I'm going to try to make it an hour. We can go through uh, Peace and Friendship Park. If you like. Lots of truck activity in this spot right here. They come down Hollis and then they come down whatever this street is called. Uh, uh, I think it's called Terminal Terminal Road, I think. I think that was called. We'll find out. We'll see how good my memory is here. My wife thinks I have a terrible memory, but I got a feeling I've got this right. See, she only tells the stuff I don't remember. She doesn't know all the things I do remember. <laughs> she wouldn't say I had a bad memory if she knew all the things I do remember. Terminal Road, there you go, straight on that sign. I, ha, I fooled her, didn't I? Yes. Let's see, I guess I can cross, probably right here would be the best, best spot to cross <laughs> the street. Western, and it used to be the Nova Scotia, which it still says it in one spot down here. It says Western, Western Nova Scotia. Right there. Okay. What do you want to do? You want to let's walk up to Barrington, then we'll maybe walk down through the park. Then we are on South Street, which goes right across Brandon and up over the hill and up towards the university and all that stuff. And the tin spot, obsessed with all shapes, colors, and sizes. And this is a red Asian fusion restaurant. Monday to Friday. Oh, look at this. This is that house that got moved. And now it's on us in that wall. Man, those guys know what they're doing. And it didn't break. <laughs> I don't know how they did it. And that house didn't break. It's a very thin wall. I guess they must have uh, shored them up a little bit because they Wow, that's amazing. They set it on steel beams and moved it in. Wow. They set it right on that cement wall, all leveled up. And it's one, two, three stories up above the wall. Wow, this is, this is quite, a, quite a feat being able to do that. They're professionals, that's for sure. You wouldn't tackle a job like that if you didn't have some quite a bit of uh, experience in it. There we are. A few of the pieces that they had to throw out. All right, let's go across the street. And there's a new building going up right there. Just a hole being dug yet, so not much to see. And this is Peace and Friendship Park right here. We'll go down at an angle. 
and then we'll come back up somewhere down here. Okay? Not a big park, but it's a very nice place. Oh look, we got a lot of them with the leaves gone. Look, about half gone. This one here is all gone. This one here is almost gone. Mmm. Fall has struck Peace and Friendship Park. Well, we could go out this side, I guess. Oh, I didn't know that. So there's a Starbucks in, in the Superstore. Look at that. I just just saw that sign for the first time. There's a, actually a, a Starbucks in there. Imagine that. I didn't know that. Well, now I do. Starbucks is in Atlantic Superstore. That's a few. It's a PC Express and Mobile Shop. Okay. Now we know. Funny how you walk right by something over and over and don't see it, and all of a sudden you, your eyes are open, and there it is. There's another new building going right in there. That house right there was set on top of that wall. That's pretty amazing how they can do that, isn't it? And it don't break or fall, they don't lose it. And, it's, it's, it's amazing, it really is, how they do it. By the time I get down to Tim Hortons here in the south end, I will have my hour in, I think. We're at 54, almost 55 minutes, so we only need five, five more minutes and we'll have an hour. That's a pretty good walk in that one. There's a barbershop right there. $25 haircut, that's cheaper than... I gotta tell my wife about that one. We've been going to... Uh, yeah, I was gonna tell you the name of it, but it slipped my mind right now. Anyway, they, they, they charged us like $35 or $40 for haircut. That place is... Walk-ins available. 
So we, I'm going to run across here and I'm going to get a shot of this and let everybody know where it is. Pro Cuts Halifax, turn your hair into art. Here we go, right here, look. Welcome, haircut, $25 plus tax, walk-ins welcome. Perfect, that's where I'm going from now on for haircut. Okay, yeah, it's on 1114 Barrington Road Street. 1114 Barrington Street. Why pay $40, 35 for a haircut? When you can get it for 20. 20 with a 20, 25, 25, I think. Yeah, why why pay more when you don't have to? That's what I say. Now renting, apparently you can get an apartment there. But I think there's probably gonna be a, a high price attached to that. I'll finish my video off down here by Tim Hortons and, and uh, then we'll have an hour in. Perfect. What a great day for a video. And what a great video we made. We got to talk to lots of people throughout the walk. We looked at all kinds of beautiful stuff. All right. Perfect, perfect day. And it's no longer cold like it was. First thing this morning, it was kind of cold. Now, it's not so cold. Maybe I'll go in there and have a, just a small coffee. That way I won't have to take in so much coffee. I'm just gonna get a small, a small coffee. Relax for a few minutes. Then I'll come back out. Well, here we are, the south end. South end of Halifax, Tim Hortons. Right there. Find us on DoorDash, Uber Eats, Tim's Catering, and all the other stuff by that name. By whatever name is, can deliver your stuff. Okay, you got DoorDash, Skip the Dishes, Uber Eats, and we do Tim's Kitchen. There you go. A little plug for all those people. <laughs> well, here we are, come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, don't forget that like and subscribe button. And all the people who make comments, I'm all caught up, I'm happy to say, with all the comments. And don't, don't stop sending them in, I love it. And with that, I hope you're having a really great day. Take care, be safe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.